Welcome to The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, especially curated from the world of economy and business today. Let's start with the good. The government has asked the income tax department to investigate cash purchases of diamond and jewelry from Nirav Modi companies. More than 600 names of people who bought diamond as well as jewelry from Nirav Modi's companies came to light when his companies were raided by the income tax and the CBI. Several of these include prominent businessmen across the country as well as their wives and relatives. Hundreds of notices have already been issued by the income tax department and some such as Abhishek Manu Singhvi's wife have actually challenged such notices asking about the veracity of such claims. This nationwide clampdown on such individuals who use their black money to convert into diamond and jewelry right after demonetization is good because it establishes that the law applies to the poor as well as the rich alike. And now to the bad. The Enforcement Directorate is investigating allegations of irregularity in Air India buying 111 aircraft for 70,000 crore rupees. Also allegations of surrendering of profitable routes to private and international carriers apart from leasing of aircraft against the norms. It is also investigating questionable flying schedules adopted by Air India in the past. Three FIRs had been filed by Central Bureau of Investigation in the middle of last year along these allegations. The allegations pertain to causing losses to the airline through dishonest decisions. Also that the aircraft had been leased without proper study of either the routes or the marketing and pricing strategy. So many skeletons in the Air India cupboard makes this bad. And now to the ugly. The RBI's decision to disallow Dena Bank from issuing fresh loans proves that India's NPA mess and NPA problems are far from over and that the ripple effect of the NPA problem continues unabated. While Dena Bank was among the 11 banks identified by RBI for preventive corrective action, there are another 14 banks that are under the RBI's watch which might go under the PCA regime. PCA bars the banks from expanding their loan book. It requires banks to preserve capital, improve profitability as well as get out of non-core businesses. However, despite these banks being under PCA for more than a quarter, their performance has not improved at all. Apart from Dena Bank, the Yuko Bank, Bank of Maharashtra, Oriental Bank of Commerce as well as Allahabad Bank have failed to improve their performance in the past quarter despite being under the Preventive Corrective Action Plan. Their NPAs have not improved and their return on assets continues to be in the negative. The very fact that the Preventive Corrective Action of RBI may have to be extended to more than a dozen more banks is what is alarming for the banking sector and makes this ugly. If you enjoyed watching this content, please subscribe to the Business Today YouTube channel and also like us on Facebook. Our Facebook page www.facebook.com slash business today. Follow Business Today on Twitter India at BT underscore India and subscribe to our YouTube channel Business Today India.